Oh my god. Dude, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Come on, get him, dude. Get him. Oh my god. You basically have him. Oh my god, dude. Oh, you got him. You got him. Oh. Woo! Oh. Yeah! Oh Alrighty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back out on the water. Nice, cool California winter morning. I'm just gonna get right to the point. We are in search for the striper, taking a break from the green ones, and uh, that is our sole goal today. I mean, I love catching the large mouth, the small mouth, the spots, but striper, man, they are just a fun fish to catch. They hit so hard, and uh, there's some big ones out here. So I've got some baits in mind that are all striper baits for me at least. We've got the A rig, a chatter bait, got a top water just in case. And then we've got a swim jig. I think the swim jig is gonna do some work today. My guess is as good as yours as to how this day will unfold, but I am really hoping we can get on some striper today and swing that rod a bunch of time. So, and even, I even brought the net. Look, see, I brought the net for once. So you know I'm serious when we bring the net. That is the plan today, 7.30 in the morning. Probably gonna put six or seven hours out here today. Stay tuned, come along, we'll see what happens. Dude, we're gonna crush him today. We're gonna crush him today. I can feel it. I can feel it. Dude, the tide's gonna be perfect today. At least for moving around. No kidding. Seems like a top water scenario. Got a lower tide, it's outgoing, just the very end of outgoing. Got some lower light conditions. A little bit of ripple on the water. I mean, I feel like they have to eat this. Striper box right here. Got all my striper goodies in here. Just go with what I think will crush him. This guy right here. He's gonna do some work. I can feel it. A swim jig. Oh my god. That sucks. Dude, that sucks so bad. Oh my god. I want my swim jig back. Fish. Pull and drag. Oh, this is it. I think it's a PB. You good? Oh my God, Greg, I think so, bro. I need <laughs> pictures, Greg. You gotta go over to Will. Sounds like he's got a giant. Oh! <laughs> He's bigger than my net. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. How big? Dude, get him. You can't net him? Huh? Can you net him? Dude, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Come on, get him, dude. Get him. Oh my God. 
you basically have him. Oh my god, dude. Oh, you got him. You got him. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Yeah! Oh my god. Woo! Dude, that is a giant. Bro! Hey, me! Woo! Oh my god. Yeah, let's see the hand. Show, show me the hand. <laughs> Dude, that is so sick. That is a monster. I gotta get a picture of this. Oh, I'll get plenty of pictures for you, dude. Oh, just in the net. Yeah. Just... Alright, hey, I have one of those big tape measure scales. I got it. It's, a P it's definitely a PB. Definitely right? a PB. Look at how big this fish is. I, no, way more than that. I gotta go. I, no, we no, we got scale. I gotta go. I gotta go. That thing is so big. Oh, you're twenty-five, thirteen, right there. And then, oh, I did it. Thank you so much. Good job, dude. Do you want to measure it one more time, or are you good with that? Huh? You want to do yeah, it one more time? Yeah. Do you want to do it one more time? Yeah, just do it, it just in case. Yep. Let's tear it out now. Just about, you're 2513 again, just about there. So we're happy to say it's 25. 26. 26. Looks like 26, because you got the tail touching a bit. That is so big. Ready? I'm ready. Bye, babe. Oh, one kiss. One kiss. There she goes. Good job, man. <laughs> Dude. Can I go home now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, guys. So it's about 8.30 in the morning. I didn't mention this, but we're out here with Will. And actually, funny funny story is the first uh, first tournament I came to in California at Lake Comanche. I think you won that one. Mm -hmm. Lake Comanche. We know Lake Comanche. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, man, whole, we camper striper. You got a striper. Two so far. Two so far. The one this morning was, was uh, 20, 20 plus. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just had something just completely wreck. It's chatterbait. Chatterbait. A little Kai Tech on the back. Kai Tech. I think Dang, it's a Tasso. Right on, man. Twenty. What was it? Twenty-six pounds. We Twenty-six said? pounder. But How'd the bite feel? That initial. Uh, at first it was soft, and then it just went the opposite direction and started running across the water. It was so awesome to see. It just ran right across the water and just watched my line. Shh, shh. Had to catch up with it. And the, crazy, it down. and the crazy thing is, and we're in what? Three foot of water? Two foot? Three foot of water. <sighs> All right, man. Well, awesome job. And uh, it's early out in the day, so. We got so much time left. Yeah, we didn't put this on film, but earlier when we are getting ready, we said, dude, it's going to be a day. And you know, like. I don't want to jinx it or nothing. But like, but... nine out of ten times, it's not the day, but it's already the day. It's it's definitely a day. <laughs> now we just need to get Greg on his PB and we're good to go. My PB won't be hard to beat. It'll be like 10 pounder. <laughs> I think I have to tie in a chatterbait now. Dude, you have, bro. If you don't, it's crazy not to. <laughs> you know what's funny is I, I got, I was throwing that top water forever and I got fancy. I was like, ah, I'm going to try my awesome swim jig. First cast, swim jig just flies right off. And as soon as that happened, you hooked up. So I came okay. over. But yeah, dude, I'm going chatter. That's crazy. I'm just out here. There's no structure. You know what's kind of interesting though? I feel like on a lower tide, right here, it's like that gravel bottom. I don't know if on a lower tide they just come out here and... No, that's why I said there's a channel that, that's out here. And they'll just, like you can watch lines of birds, they'll just sit in the channel and just take it in and out. Dang. Something big just... I don't even know. It was like a, something big just moved over here. Man, we're only in two and a half, three foot of water. Could have been a carp, I suppose, but man, when Will's catching fish like that, there could be some absolute monsters out here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Finally got one. Oh, it came off. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Felt like a dink, but bite and mark everything today got her. Right, got her. they're here oh, baby oh yeah buddy 
Oh, quick release. All right, all right. I think Will figured it out. White chatter. Come on, baby. Man, as soon as it landed, finally pulled it on one's head. I don't think it's very big, but we technically don't have the skunk out of the boat yet, so we gotta put it in the boat. I gotta net this one, I think. They're here today, that's for certain. Shatterbait action it is, too. Got him hooked super weird. Bottom lip. Oh, man, he choked it. Skunk officially out of the boat. That'd be a nice little keeper. Thank you, sir. I knew this had to do work, this combo. I mean, obviously we were kind of hinted to, towards it with uh, Will's catches, but got the old Z-Man custom chatterbait on there with a Berkeley grass pig. I think that's in like emerald shiner or something. These striper, especially in like this dirtier water, like a little color to the bait, not just a straight white. Figured this color trailer with a little green back, a little bit of chartreuse in it, should do well. It's three bites in pretty quick succession in the, the same area too. That's the other thing with these fish. It's like a needle in a haystack sometimes. You can cover so much water, but they're grouped up in certain areas based on the tides and... <sighs> oh, I felt like I just got bumped again. They're here though. Any more luck? One like 18 incher and then I like lost two tiny ones. Just kind of right in here on the chatterbait though. You're right, that chatterbait's the deal. Sure. Yeah, right right through the gut, like you were talking about, right through the middle. Dude, it's like bottomed out. It's like bottomed out almost. Like six inches right here. I'll just give you guys an update. The wind picked up. They're trying to make it to a different spot. Like we were saying, we we're catching them in like two foot of water. Only only problem is when the tide drops and it's two foot. Yeah, that makes things a little bit shallow and uh, ultimately we couldn't get back to the spot we wanted to. So we're gonna just roll back out to the first area. I don't know, let this wind and tide push us. Hopefully it calms down a little bit, but any worse and I might not be a huge fan. Strange day so far. Bite. Come on, baby. Hopefully we relocated these fish. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? What is that? I know you guys can see that. What the heck? What? Up in three foot of water. I don't know, man. Nice. That's not bad. I've had maybe one bite, but it's been like super tough. Oh, jeez. What kind of what kind of bird was it? I don't know. I have a picture of it, dude. Catching PB, saving birds, man. You've had a you've had a day, <laughs> an eventful day. <laughs> I 
Okay, folks, uh, 2.30, that is going to do it for the day. I would say overall very successful. Not for myself, but for, for Will. Solid fish. Yeah, I, personal best weight-wise. I didn't get inches or measurement or anything like that, but weight-wise, without a doubt, biggest freshwater fish I've ever caught. Two foot of water. I mean, I caught a few in two foot or had a few bites. You caught a few more, super shallow. Giants roaming out on a shallow flat. I mean, you just don't Ram. know. No structure, no, just two foot of water yeah. just out there just being beasts. Yep, and then I went like solid five hours without a single bite. So, I mean, they can be there and then they can ghost you so quick. But not much else to say. Congrats to this guy. Awesome fish. I'm glad I got to see it. That was so sick. Well, I'm glad you person. called me and coaxed me out here. I, was, I didn't plan on coming out here. And you're like, I'm going out. I'm like, all right. It always happens on the days you don't really plan. <laughs> Lesson you guys, if you don't want to go fishing, just do it. Just because... get, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.